All right, good evening, Saints and Eights. I stole that from Jackie Hill Perry. It's a really cool intro, I think. Anyway, it's a nice Sunday evening, and I was gonna, it's been my goal this summer to make a video every weekend of some kind. And I was gonna make a video of going to church this morning just to show off my church, something important that doesn't get recorded very much, which is good, but I wanna make something like just telling about it. Um, and obviously I was sick. I felt like crap this morning. It was running up on me all week and I just kept going and eventually it caught up with me this morning. So eventually this evening I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, nice, quiet, and I'm kind of feeling ready for the week tomorrow. But I thought I could make a video about my bookshelf and cool things in my room maybe. Um, I saw Emily Smoke write a cool bookshelf video and it's a little bit narcissistic but it's something I think I might look, enjoy looking back on it and Maybe a few other people who are into books too. So, starting off outside my room here, um, one cool feature is I have a window out to the roof of the house, which is a cool place just to think, come out and think and look around. Don't come out here maybe as much as I should, but anyway, it's a nice evening here. Sun's gonna set in a little bit. Um, we got mom's apple trees. I was mad when we had to dig the big holes to plant them, but now they're really cool to have. We get. Um, fresh apples. You can see a little bit of some of mom's flowers and landscaping. She does really good. And Benji does awesome mowing the yard. We've got also mom's garden growing a lot of good stuff. One lonely chicken got caught in there. I'm gonna have to get him out as soon as I'm done up here. Um, yeah, <laughs> loads of forest is pretty much all we have around here. And then there's vehicles and some more flower beds up front but anyway I'll see if I can get down here without falling and I'll show you the room anyway so one of the first things this church bench here I actually got from my grandparents one time when they were moving it was kind of extra um, my grandpa was just about to take a hammer to it and I said I'd take it for my room I just think it's kind of cool to have a church bench I don't think it's from our church um, and it's pretty small, but it's kind of cool just to have right across from the shelf here. And just a chest of like old papers and stuff. And a jug that reminds me of Briscoe Darlin from Andy Griffith's show. So yeah, globe, fish wrapper, photo album, Britannica World Atlas, and just some books. I like showing off the cover of books. I actually have a few of them around the room. But then yeah, top shelf of the book, kind of random uh, Bible theology-ish stuff. Um, some Tozer and annotated Bible. Don't really look at it a whole lot. A little apologetics. Was into it when I was younger and kind of working through that some stuff. Uh, can't regurgitate it very well now. I wish I could. Um, kind of some persecuted church missionary type stories. Kind of going into Muslim born believer type things. Those are good. And then more missions stuff. Uh, Preemptive Love, Jeremy Courtney, Working in Iraq, that's a really good book. Um, know Before You Go, Gary Miller, and Toxic Charity were good ones just talking about um, ways things can be done wrong when you're coming in as a privileged white person and trying to help people. Um, definitely something to be intentional about. And then kind of just molds into some church stuff, and then Anabaptism. Um, this is one of the coolest. I got this one at Grossmunster in Zurich, um, written by Swiss Reformed Church, kind of steps to reconciliation, uh, Reformed and Anabaptist churches in dialogue. Um, just kind of talking about the past history of like Zwingli persecuting Anabaptists and unity now. This is kind of a summarized history of Anabaptism that's kind of cool. Um, Berceau, and of course, Complete works of Men of Simons. Have not read it all. It's kind of a little dry and dusty, but just I just started off at the beginning. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, next shelf is more fiction. I kind of like young adult fiction, so it's a lot of that. Um, Wonder, kind of cheesy, but oh, it just made me happy. Like a kid with a deformed face that has to go to school and just what he faces there. Um... Perks of Being a Wallflower was, it's just another very typical YA novel, but it was just the main character really struggles with being passive. And oh man, that was just something I really resonated with. Um, and yeah, a book that like just didn't make you feel as crazy or alone. That was cool. 
Roll Thunder, hear my cry. Good one about um, struggles in Jim Crow era, like 19 teens and 20s of a family and black family in Mississippi. Good book. Um, black Duck's another good one. Uh, Prohibition era. Um, anyway, and then some more classic ish things. A little bit of Dickens, Hemingway. And then next shelf is nonfiction stuff. Um, humans, Brandon Strand, he's the Humans of New York guy, has um, really good stories from around the world, just random people he's interviewed. He has a gift for it. Um, some Jocko, he's good leadership, motivation type stuff. And oh, a couple kind of Mennonite ones. Anything but simple. It's a good one I liked. And <laughs> and Willie Smoker, the person who inspired this video, kind of um, had one visiting different communities for a year or so. Just stayed in different places for a month and wrote about it. It's neat. And this is also a very special one. Um, my paternal grandmother died of cancer before I was born, and her two oldest children just wrote a book about what they remembered of her life and what the last couple months were, and family dying. And it's cool to see stories of my dad growing up, too. Um, yeah, a little bit of Native American fiction and stuff. That's about it. And these are kind of like, I don't know, Christian bookstore type books, I guess I'd call them. Uh, Bob Goff, huge fan. Uh, Color of Compromise is good. Comer is really good. Uh, the Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. Just about the damage that running around at Mach 90 is part of the Western world. Just the toll it has on our souls. That was really good. Uh, Carl Lenz, I got quiz on discount. Sprinkle's really cool. Uh, his book on nonviolence. like that. Jefferson Bethke. Uh, I first saw his spoken word and really got into him. Um, some Timmy K. Another kind of apologetics books, but yeah, he's just such a gentle, smart thinker that I always liked. Um, that's about it. Kind of just random stuff. And it's more just really random junk, like old school yearbooks and books I'm not actually that into anymore. And random big books and stuff. Um, this bookshelf I actually built myself out of oak. Um, one winter when I had some free time. And one side is a half inch taller than the other. I kind of forget. But it's a good solid. It doesn't look super pretty, but I like it. And then these crates have some books. I made a photo book out of 2020. Um, it was just kind of something I was bored one night and did. And it's kind of just a cool way to remember all the stuff that happened. And even put some memes in the back. Calvin and Hobbes is the goat of comic books. Um, some travel guys and just books about travel and stuff. Travel is like a political act by Rick Steves. Oh, that's really good. Just talking about all the talking past we do, each other of different cultures and how it affects politics and stuff of today. Uh, this shelf, just a thrift store thing. These are all the books I want to read, and it's just really random. I can't even pick one out as being super special that I'm really looking forward to. All of them I am, but um, then this is... Native American nonfiction stuff. Uh, a few textbooks from school and other ones I've just picked up along the way. Um, the Walleye War was really cool. Just about the fight for spearing rights and the conflict that caused, and like, a lot of it's based right around here in northern Wisconsin, which is cool. Uh, nonfiction history stuff. Um, and uh, All Hell Broke Loose about the Iraq War is really cool. And Lies My Teacher Told Me. It was just kind of filling in the details and correcting the angles of a lot of history textbooks. That was cool. And a few teaching books. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. In plant class, my teacher was talking about how healthy it is to have a plant to clean the air in your room. So like right in the middle of class on Zoom, I went and got a plant from Mom. She helped me keep up here. U.S. map, with all the places I've been um, out east a lot. A decent amount out west. But the south, I haven't. And... Currencies and stuff. Serbia, Iraq, Qatar, Mexico, Nicaragua, Canada, uh, Croatia, and Hungary. I kind of forget. Euro and Swiss franc. But giant sassafras thing for hanging stuff on. Poster from Walmart with um, kind of Bible verses about identity. I honestly don't look at it. It just becomes um, part of the background pretty easy. 
and some more just inspirational quote type stuff. I should get some more actual real art. And or my cousin actually drew this part as a at a benefit auction. Venture you say I'll pack up my bags. I think it's kinda cool. Um caricature of the three oldest siblings. Sadly the youngest got left out. Um my friend who's a tribal member drew this at one of his art classes at school, Hunter. Shout out your artwork is still in my room. And I can't even remember his name now, but the iconic Anabaptist guy, Dirk Willems, I have up, of course, too. And some more books above the bed, a few I want to get to soon, and then, of course, all the ones I'm working on slowly. I have not been reading a lot this summer. I kind of wish I was. Sacred Search, about Christian dating. It's good. Gay Girl, Good God. Jackie Hill Perry. Awesome. Really good book. Ragamuffin Gospel. I haven't started that one yet. I really want to. Just a couple young adult novels. Um, and Trauma Healing, talk with kids to listen, Bill Bryson talking about history of English and a history of the Boxer Rebellion in China, which is kind of cool. Um, if, it's something that's like just very, so briefly mentioned in history I was learning in school. It's kind of cool to learn more. Bible, journal, don't use them as much as I should, but I really do enjoy them. And World Map with some places I've been, um, not very many and definitely hasn't been added to in a little bit. But other random thing is I love to use boarding passes for bookmarks. And I've saved probably almost all my boarding passes. Um, at least 98% of them or so. And use them as bookmarks and they're scattered all around. But that's pretty much it. Um, sorry for my awful voice. And... Um, That'll be it. I hope that's something a bit more interesting next weekend, and I've been making other plans with some friends for collabing and whatnot, so thank you for showing interest, and I hope you have an awesome evening.